The ocean is home to different creatures from animals that are found on land and the phylum of echinoderms is a prime example. The phylum Echinodermata is a scientific classification of simple animals including sea stars, brittle stars, sand dollars, sea urchins and sea cucumbers. While these are the species that perhaps sound familiar, there are approximately 6000 species of echinoderms found in the ocean worldwide. Holothridians What is a sea cucumber? What do you picture in your mind when you hear the term sea cucumber? If you are imagining the long green vegetable that you sometimes find sliced up in your salad, Thing again. Although some species of sea cucumbers look like the vegetable that we were thinking of. Sea cucumbers are actually a marine animal. So what exactly are these strange creatures? Let's take a look. They are unique because they are worm-like animals even though they are echinoderms. They are really amazing worms in the sense that they dominate the planet. If you think about the largest part of our planet is a deep sea floor and the sea cucumber are one of the most abundant forms of life on the deep sea floor. They can do the things that you couldn't imagine. For example, they can eject their guts, throw them away and make a new one. They can break their body into pieces and each half regenerate the other half. They have lung but it's not through their mouth but it's through their anus. So they actually breathe through their butt. They belong to the kingdom of Animalia and belong to the phylum of Echinodermata. And the subphylum is Echinozoa and the class is Holothridia. Sea cucumbers have long, soft bodies that are covered in the leathery skin. Depending on the species, they can be black, brown, blue green or red. They may also have bumps on their skin which are tube feet for moving around on the ocean floor. A protein substance known as collagen is what makes up their skin. This substance allows sea cucumbers to either tighten or loosen up their bodies. As a result, they are easily able to squeeze into tiny spaces and then hard enough to protect themselves from danger. Feeding Habits Although difficult to see, sea cucumbers do have a mouth. In their mouth are several tubes or tentacles that are used to collect food. Once they have grabbed onto the food with their tentacles, sea cucumbers stick their tentacles in their mouth and lick off their meal. Sea cucumber are scavengers because they feed on tiny particles found on the ocean floor. Their diet consists of mainly of plankton, algae and waste material. Forms of Defense Their defense is one of the most interesting. When they are in danger, these creatures are known to expel their organs. The sight of their internal organs hanging on the Outside of their bodies is usually enough to scare their predators away. External Features Holothroidians have a soft cylindrical body. In a sea cucumber, the five sided symmetry is more clearly seen in cross section, but it is not obvious from outside. Small spikes are embedded in the thing outside the body wall. It has a mouth at one end and an anus at the other. On the outside, corresponding to one of the sides, there is a double row of sucker tube feet. Around the mouth of an undisturbed sea cucumber there can be seen tentacles, which are modified tube feet. These pick up organic matter lying over the coral reef and push into the mouth. Females release eggs into the water, which gets fertilized when they come into contact with the sperm that males have released and this type of fertilization is called external fertilization. After fertilization, they develop to a planktonic larva stage. After a 3-5 weeks period, they float as a plankton. 
then the larva settles to the sea bottom where it becomes adult. Asexual reproduction. Sea cucumber asexually reproduce by dividing into two halves, with each half regenerating the missing organs in a few months. Life cycle of a sea cucumber. Most sea cucumbers reproduce by releasing the sperm and the ova into the ocean water. Depending on conditions, one organism can produce thousands of gametes. Sea cucumbers are typically dioecious. The reproductive system consists of a single gonad consisting of a cluster of tubules emptying into a single duct that opens on the upper surface of the animal close to the tentacles. The males just releases the sperm into the water and the females just releases their eggs into the water. Each organism can release thousands of gametes at a time. For females up to 1,30,000 eggs at a time which are hopefully fertilized in the water and become larva. The sea cucumber becomes sexually mature at around a year. After fertilization, young sea cucumbers first develop into the larva that can swim around using the cilia. Larva are ciliated, free-swimming organisms before they grow tentacles and become adults. Sea cucumbers with specialized care for their offspring may also nurse the young one in the body cavities or in their surfaces. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.